Hi everyone, it's Mirika Bundens. Welcome back to another food diary of 365 in this year. This one year ago was the milk, milky coffee with too little milk, I'd say today. Um, you can just see the difference between my milky coffees today, like regardless of if it's um, plant milk or not and so it's just you know the liquid curries <laughs> but drinking that thin milk coffee there brought me where I am now where I can just pour on the liquid calories without any fear you see here yogurt with strawberries and then the usual chocolate oatmeal that I like to call cake which of course it is not it is you know it I just like to tell Oh, my brain just like to make a very decadent food out of it which is it really wasn't it was very watery very dilute very high volume very um you see the chocolate on top that i was still challenging which yay is a big big step for me there i was i kept challenging it every day but you know it's like it's really not a lot and uh, what i actually had wanted to eat was a whole chocolate bar like you know on top of that oatmeal at least and so um but i was too afraid of it at that point i got a comment from barbette caravaggio again um she added to her last comment that i responded to in my last video Oh, and the letting go of exercise addiction is also a big thing. I have come to the conclusion, like Tabitha Farah, that that is the most difficult thing to do. I 100% agree, by the way. Eating enough slash to complete satisfaction, mental and physical, and in capitals, sitting still. Yes, exactly. You can just kid yourself and, you know, just run it off or just walk it off. You know, you can kid yourself saying, well, I'm just walking. Well, three hours of walking or even one hour of walking or even 30 minutes or 10 minutes of walking just for the sake of compensating for calories that you ate is disordered. It's still the eating disorder taking charge of your life and nothing is rewired if you keep doing that. Barbette writes, I, oh, you can, um, by the way, see that the oats, you know, they soaked for an hour. I cooked them for half an hour. It looks thick, but they, like, they are not really connected, the oats. It's more like there's a lot of fluid between the oats, if that makes sense. This was my snack. It's raisins and oats and peanut butter. The most natural one, of course, nothing added. <laughs> Because orthorexia was still strong for me there. What I actually would have want, wanted was is something like Snickers, you know, or some yeah, like, like just spoons of peanut butter and maybe dates, you know, just stuffed dates and you know, just 20 of it or something, but not like this puffed up, you know, even with the raisins, I think. Yeah, I actually also remember that these kind of meals, they were kind of disappointing to me because they really didn't satisfy me. They didn't satisfy the craving of having something dense and it was too raisiny and like, well, but still, I really want to say this was a big step for me because, you know, you, you do see when you watch all of my videos how the steps get braver and braver or like more and more brave. This was the lunch. I think there's something like a little bit of stinging nettles in the banana ice cream as well. Yeah, the usual lunch. I'm not going to go into this now. I go on with, uh, with my response to the comment. She says, I came from a long history of EDs, including years of exercise bulimia, where you definitely eat a lot, but then also go to the gym a lot. Hours every single day. But mind you, that's what I'm adding here, even if it's only 30 minutes. If you're doing it because you think you have to make, like you have to build muscle instead of gaining fat when you're eating more, that is still very much disordered. She writes, such a dark place to be in. The bliss spot is being able to eat whatever, whenever and however you want without any compensatory behavior. That is the goal. Love from Holland. Spot on, Barbette. This is exactly how it is. Um... 
you still live on yeah like a slave to your eating disorder as long as you just live by its rules as long yeah as long as you're still like if you allow yourself one thing but then you're trying to compensate by another like in this case it would be by just moving more or just adding some more walking minutes there or um it doesn't matter just moving moving more in any way shape or form or more intensely or more in duration or whatever it means is responsible for your brain not re rewiring you are not rewiring your fear not losing the fear you have of the calories because under it all there's the fear of gaining weight and if you didn't have that fear you were not afraid of calories and so we need to train our brain not to be afraid of calories and not to be afraid of weight gain anymore this is what i ate one week ago so now in real recovery uh this was a chocolate fudge oatmeal it's with a little bit of vanilla e tasting protein but only for the taste just like one gram or so i have even no idea like with one one piece like one little tip of the knife or so and so it's also with the coffee it's just it's for me right now i also go through phases but the most comforting meal is so dense so fudgy i love the consistency and just so so satisfying so calorie dense there's also my supplements on top for the winter the vitamin d um yeah also you know also not you know high carb no fat or stuff and it's with different kinds of nuts this was a snack of mine or oh, whatever you call it. it might also be me i don't know I, I don't do these kind of distinguishments anymore so this is tahini on top lots of tahini and then also you will see i added nutritional yeast I actually wanted to take this one, it's in a box as you see, I actually wanted to take this uh, on my way because I actually joined my parents to the, yeah, to a family weekend we had and, you know, I wanted to take it in the car but it was all a little bit later so I just ate it there. And I, I'm also adding just more tahini as I go, just according to my taste. No scale in the whole world has the right to determine how much tahini or peanut butter or whatever or almond butter we can put on top. It's uh, We really have to come to the point where we just let our taste decide. This was salty pretzels um, and Duplo that I had in the car. And this was later muesli. It's a, yeah, with nuts and raisins and also tangerine and a coffee you saw there and this kind of toast with like curry kind of Indian dish. I also had egg on the toast there in my family and some tomatoes. Really yummy, very satisfying. And I love that I don't have to bring my own food anymore, guys. This is not, I don't take this for granted, really. I also had more of the Indian dish. And then for dinner that we all shared together, I had some bread and cheese, as you saw, and butter and avocado. One of my big loves. <laughs> and everything you also saw on the plate before, I can't remember right now, like some veggies, I guess and yum 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 i hope you like the response to the comment i can just oh i also had some white wine just because i can just enjoy the freedom i have when i go and, oh and also a lot of chips this is not the only crisp i had just um yeah just one photo of those i see you